This is tutorial one of the RedKit beta. So first off we want to say uh, new world one and create a new file. So we're just going to close this asset browser and this is what you're going to start out with with the new file. So we're going to go to the tools menu and then say terrain tools and then create modify terrain. It's uh, 512 which is you know kind of a, a relative size we just want to say create new terrain and I'm going to use the WASD keys and the I'm holding down the right mouse button to be able to have my camera move around like this and the WASD keys to actually go forward back and strafe left and right so I'm just going to zoom out really far and the first thing I want to do is go to scene and these are these are the terrains that you just created so inside of world I want to add a group and I'm going to call this group environment now inside of environment I'm going to add a layer called sky and this is going to be to hold our sky box so we'll go up here to the asset browser and then to environment levels and then to skyboxes. Just scroll down to the dynamic skybox. Move this over so you guys can see. Now you can just drag this out here, but make sure you don't drag it onto the black space because that doesn't do anything. And let me move my camera up so you guys can actually see what's about to happen. I'm going to drag the skybox onto the white terrain tile and it's going to drop it uh, so it actually like angles over the top of this terrain tile. So it looks really nice out there. You've got moving clouds. Um, you know, it looks like uh, The Witcher 2. So the next thing we want to add is another layer. I'm going to call this area environment. And inside of area environment, we're going to right click on the terrain tile and say close active tool. All that means is that when we're in the tool menu and we have something open like terrain tools, uh, closing the active tool just closes it down. You can also go over here and then just click it again and it'll close down. But we're inside of area environment. You know that because it's bold. Um, whatever you double click on goes bold and that's, that's what layer you've got active just like in Photoshop or something. And we want to right click out here and go to graphics and add area environment. So that added us a little tiny cyan colored box down here on the terrain tile. I'm so far zoomed out that it's, it's impossibly small. So that's, uh, that's what we want to click on and we're about to modify this. This is where the player is actually going to move around inside of and right now it's really small. So uh, you need to click scale over here and it'll give you these handles and just make it a little bit taller and scale it on the X and Y axes until it's it's pretty big and uh, that looks pretty good right there we just don't want it to like go past the edges of the of the terrain tile so the next thing we want to do on this is go to your, your tools menu. If you can't see the cyan border, you can hit control alt F and it'll pull up this uh, filters window. Go under editor options to debug and you can click areas and unclick areas and that will show and hide the uh, the color on that. That's for later on when you're when you're actually trying to detail things and you want that out of the way. For now we want it activated. So go up here to tools Go to world environment and read this little prompt. It says there is no world environment. Would you like to create it? Yes. And it's going to change the lighting. So that's the whole point of this world environment option. We're going to make the lighting look really nice for when we start messing with the terrain. So we want to go down here to the bottom where it says fake day cycle. Enable that. And that will give you the ability to change the time of day. So we're just going to leave it at about noon. And then you want to deselect world environment and then reselect it. 
and it'll give you this option down here called Area Environment Zero. And just click that checkbox again, or for the first time. But these two checkboxes are what you need. And you saw that kind of dramatic shift in the environment. That's uh, just more effects and cool lighting stuff going on in the background. So if uh, you also needed to have this selected, and just be aware of that, like whatever you're, you have selected and whatever you don't have selected, sometimes it affects what you can do. And um, it's kind of a, a hassle sometimes to remember that. So the last thing we're going to add to this is we're going to go to the Asset Browser and search for Mesh Sun. So we want to move this out of the way real fast so you can see. I'm going to drag it over onto the, the train tile again, and it's in there, and there it is. So go back to Tools, to World Environment, and you can play with the time of day now. And the sun will move just like the day-night cycle is changing. So hopefully you guys learned some stuff, and you're, you're well on your way to creating your first map. And be sure to check out Tutorial 2. Also, I'm going to link to the original videos that these were created off of, which is uh, from a German guy called Klaub Bauderman. Um, he does German videos with subtitles in English, so if you want to check those out, you can. Um, he goes through all the details that I've just uh, told you. I just want to do these in English so that there's hopefully a bigger population getting involved with The Witcher 2 mods. Thanks for watching, and hope to, uh, hope to have you come back for Tutorial 2. Thanks a lot.